back in the power armor. A personal dive into carnage. The roar of the bolter. The sickening crunch of a chainsword biting into flesh. The thunderous charge of a tyrannid horde. Stepping back into the massive power armor of a Space Marine in Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2 was like coming home. It was a homecoming marked by blood, thunder, and the satisfying weight of every swing, shot, and execution. From the moment I first laid eyes on the game's stunning opening cinematic, I was hooked. Space Marine 2 doesn't pull any punches, throwing you headfirst into the brutal and unforgiving universe of Warhammer 40,000. As the iconic Captain Titus, I felt the power fantasy of being a genetically engineered super soldier. The game's pacing is relentless, a symphony of brutal combat and breathtaking set pieces. Whether I was chainsawing my way through waves of orcs, gunning down tyranid swarms with my trusty bolter, or going toe-to-toe -to -toe with massive boss enemies, Space Marine 2 never let up on the action. But it wasn't just the action that grabbed me. It was the world itself. The grimy, gothic architecture of the Imperium, the sheer scale of the battles, and the constant threat of chaos lurking around every corner, all of it combined to create an immersive and unforgettable experience. Level Up. Space Marine 2's evolution from its predecessor. It takes the core elements that made the original great and cranks them up to 11. The combat is more visceral, the graphics are jaw-dropping, and the story feels more personal. One of the most significant improvements is the sheer scale of the battles. You're regularly fighting through hordes of hundreds, if not thousands, of foes. The developers have refined the combat system, making it more fluid and responsive. Space Marine 2 introduces a new progression system that lets you unlock new abilities and upgrades. Chainzerds and Fury – The Thrill of Combat Let's talk about the meat and potatoes of Space Marine 2. The Combat it's brutal, it's visceral, and it's oh so satisfying. This isn't a game where you can hide behind cover and pick off enemies from a distance. This is about getting up close and personal, feeling the weight of every swing of your chainsword and the thunderous boom of your bolter. The game does a fantastic job of making you feel like the absolute badass that a space marine should be. You can wade into a horde of orcs chainsword whirring, and come out on top. You can charge into a group of Tyranids, bolter blazing, and send them flying. But it's not just about brute force. The combat system is surprisingly deep, with a variety of combos, special abilities, and executions to master. You can parry attacks, dodge out of the way, and even use your jetpack to get the drop on enemies. And then there are the executions. Oh, the executions. These are brutal, visceral finishers that never get old. Whether you're ripping an orc's head off with your bare hands, impaling a tyranid on your chainsword, or blasting a chaos space marine to smithereens with your plasma pistol, the executions are a gruesome work of art. Titus Returns, a grizzled veteran's tale. Captain Titus is back, and he's as gruff and badass as ever. He's older now, more grizzled, and carrying the weight of his past actions. But one thing hasn't changed, his unwavering dedication to the Imperium of Man. The story picks up after the events of the first game, with Titus and his squad facing a new threat to the Imperium. I won't spoil the details, but let's just say it involves a whole lot of Tyranids, a healthy dose of chaos, and some tough choices for our hero. One of the things I appreciated about Space Marine 2 is that it doesn't shy away from the moral complexities of the Warhammer 40,000 universe. Titus is a hero, yes, but he's also a soldier fighting in a brutal, 
and unforgiving war. The game does a good job of exploring the toll that this takes on him, both physically and mentally. The supporting characters are also well developed, each with their own personalities and motivations. You've got the loyal Sergeant Sidonus, always at Titus' side, the fiery sister of battle Gabriella, and the enigmatic Inquisitor Drogon, whose motives are always in question. Together, they form a compelling cast that helps to drive the story forward. A galaxy of horrors, the enemies of the Imperium. What's a Space Marine game without a whole bunch of enemies to kill? Space Marine. Two delivers on this front in spades, throwing a staggering variety of foes at you. From the savage orcs, to the relentless Tyranids, to the corrupted Chaos Space Marines, you'll be fighting for your life every step of the way. Each enemy faction has its own unique look, feel and combat style. Orcs are all about brute force, charging at you in a frenzy of choppers and shooters. Tyranids are a terrifying force of nature, swarming you with razor-sharp claws and teeth. And Chaos Space Marines are a mirror image of your own forces, wielding the same deadly weapons and tactics. The enemy design is top-notch, perfectly capturing the grotesque aesthetic of the Warhammer 40,000 universe. The Orcs are suitably brutish and savage, the Tyranids are a horrifying blend of organic and mechanical, and the Chaos Space Marines are corrupted and twisted reflections of their former selves. And then there are the boss battles. Oh boy, the boss battles. These are epic encounters against some of the most iconic creatures in the Warhammer 40,000 universe. I won't spoil the surprises, but let's just say you'll need all your skills and firepower to survive these encounters. A visually stunning slaughterhouse. Graphics and atmosphere. Space Marine. 2 is a gorgeous game. There's no other way to put it. From the detailed character models to the massive environments, the game is a visual feast. The developers have done an incredible job of bringing the grim darkness of the 41st millennium to life. One of the things that impressed me most was the attention to detail. The environments are littered with debris. The weapons look and sound powerful. And even the enemies have a level of detail that's frankly impressive. You can tell that a lot of love and care went into crafting this world. The game also makes great use of lighting and colour to create a truly atmospheric experience. The Gothic architecture of the Imperium is often shrouded in shadows, while the battlefields are awash in the light of explosions and muzzle flashes. But it's not just the visuals that create the atmosphere, the sound design is equally impressive. From the roar of the bolter to the sickening crunch of a chainsaw biting into flesh, every sound is designed to immerse you in the world. Brothers in Arms, Multiplayer and Customization. Space Marine. Two isn't just about the single player campaign. It also features a robust multiplayer mode that lets you team up with friends and take on the forces of chaos together. There are a variety of different modes to choose from, including Team Deathmatch, Capture the Flag, and a horde mode that pits you against waves of increasingly difficult enemies. The multiplayer is a lot of fun, offering a nice change of pace from the single player campaign. It's also a great way to level up your character and unlock new weapons and armor. Speaking of weapons and armor, Space Marine 2 features a deep customization system that lets you tailor your Space Marine to your